In this problem, we have two objects, A and B, and they are connected through a pulley cable system. Uh, we have two continuous cables, a yellow one and a green one, and they both have fixed lengths, which are important for our later analysis. So if the velocity of object B at this point is known to be 3 meter per second downwards, we need to determine the speed of object A. So this is a dependent motion analysis problem. The first thing we want to do is to establish a datum. A datum is always drawn at a fixed location. Uh, of course, you can draw your datum from the roof, but because this distance right here is fixed, so the datum that I draw works well as well, and actually it helps with the load later calculation. Um, and then the next thing to do is to draw position vectors that represent the positions of the object of interest, in this case, object A and B. So position vectors are always drawn from a fixed point. So do not draw the position vector of A from here, because this location is not a fixed location. So always draw your position vector from a fixed position, in this case, our datum. That's the reason why we even had a datum to begin with. So this is my SA. For SB, you can draw from here to here. However, if you recognize that the distance from here to here is fixed. So if you recognize that, then we actually can draw the position vector from here to here, and it still represents the position of object B, because we're not interested in the absolute positions, we are interested in the relative positions of these two objects, we are interested in the change of their positions, therefore this SB actually works better for our later calculation. And now we still cannot establish the relation between the motion of object A and the motion of object B. Um, therefore, we need an intermediate step. Therefore, I'm going to draw another position vector from here to here. So as you can see, again, my position vector starts from the datum. And this is my SC. And now with SC, I'm ready to establish the um, relation between the motions mm, through the length of the continuous cables. So if we count for the total length of the green cable, we realize that the green cable's length equals to SC plus SB. So SC is this part right here. SB is this part right here. So SC plus SB plus some kind of um, fixed length, and that equals to a constant. So SC and SB equals to a constant length as uh, L1, and L1 doesn't equal to the total length of the green cable. However, L1 plus some constant length equals to the total length of the green cable. So this is a constant. And for the yellow cable, it is this lens right here. It's uh, this lens right here, which equals to SA minus SC plus this lens right here, which equals to SB minus SC, and then plus SB equals to L2. Again, L2 plus some constant length, some fixed length, equals to the total length of the yellow cable, which is also fixed. So now we have these two equations, and we need to find the direct relation between SA and SB. To do that, we need to cancel out SC. So the first equation, if we multiply it by 2, we get 2 times SC 
plus 2 times SB equals to 2 times L1. The second equation is SA minus SC plus SB minus SC plus SB equals to L2. Therefore, as you can, you can see, if we add these two equations together, then the 2 SC and the 2 negative SC cancel each other out. So as a result, we get SA plus 4 times SB equals to some L. I don't know what L is and I really do not care because all I need to know is L is a constant. Therefore, now if we, if we take the time derivative of this entire equation, on the left hand side we get dSA dt plus 4 times dSB dt equals to, on the right hand side that's simply 0. And we know that the time derivative of position is velocity. dSA dt simply is VA and then dSB dt simply is VB equals to 0. Therefore, VA equals to negative 4 VB and if we establish that downward is the positive y direction then this equals to negative 4 times 3 12 meter per second and the negative sign indicates that the direction is in the opposite of the defined positive direction therefore it's upwards so that is the answer for this problem. However, we also can take the time derivative of this equation and get another relation, which is AA plus 4 times AB also equals to 0. So AA also equals to negative 4 times AB. In some cases, it is useful.